don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This is the things I do for content. I hate it here. Hi, witchlings. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to reacting. Reac reacting to Saint fan fiction. <laughs> I didn't think this was a video I was ever going to make, but it is, and this is what I'm doing today. So this was, <laughs> this was a, I'm crying. This is a video people asked for. I didn't come up with this on my own. I can't take that credit. So I did some preliminary research and set up some preliminary uh, measures. Firstly, this is an 18 plus video. It, this is going to be age restricted. I am not contributing to the the. I'm not giving this information to minors. Okay, you have to be 18 to watch this video. If you lie about your age, it's not my problem. I'm taking preventative measures to make sure you don't know this shit. Um, so I did set up a couple rules. I did not do any supernatural fan fiction. I did not do any Good Omens fan fiction, and I did not choose any Lucifer like the TV show fan fiction. Um, we are operating off of pure spite of Christianity, which is valid as fuck, and I love it. I, for the safety of the authors, I will not be sharing the name of the work or their username, only the tags and my reaction to actually reading it. That is because even though I'm sitting here and I think this is funny and I think it's great that people are creating content like this, like fan fiction, because like. I don't give a fuck what you do. I read a book that was literally like a queer retelling of the fall of Lucifer and Lucifer and Michael were like romantically involved. And I thought it was fantastic. One of the best books I've ever read. But I understand that if people find this video and see this, the authors may receive some unnecessarily hate or harassment. And I don't want that to happen. This is a good natured video. If you're uncomfortable with people writing fan fiction about saints, don't fucking watch this video. Don't just don't watch it. And then we don't have to worry about this. Anyways, I did pre choose these works because like, why not? I did. Uh, if you're sitting here and you're like, I didn't even know that saying fan fiction was a thing, baby, the Catholic trauma runs the religious trauma from Catholicism runs strong. I love it, all right? A few of these have warnings on them. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to read them like out loud. Also, I think there is, I think I have one singular Good Omens fanfic, I do. So I think that the response to this, I think this is gonna be funny because one, I am not a Catholic. I am a folk practitioner who uses elements of Catholicism in their practice. It started as a joke, but look where we are now. LMAFIO. Uh, whoa, holy shit, we're already going in. I didn't even start, I can't look at this yet. Oh my God, I just got like a tiny glimpse. Holy moly, we just went straight into the sex. There was no, there's no story here. I don't think there's a story. Ah, all right. <laughs> so my reaction is not going to be based off of like, oh, how dare you write a fanfic about saints? I don't fucking care what you do. If you want to make trans Jesus canon, I'm going to support you. You want to write a scene with fingering between Judas and Jesus? I support you. But I am just so uncomfortable with many aspects of fan fiction to begin with and the kind of stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna start soft. This, this is the soft one. So this is basic, all right, relationships, Archangel Ma Michael, Samael slash Lucifer. I feel like this is very typical. That whole enemies to lovers, lovers to enemies type thing. Angels before man, the entire book is it, and that is about this, and I love it. Language, it's in Italian. I think this is translated, but the original name is Insieme, together. Additional tags, romance, biblical inspiration, fallen angel Lucifer, Lucifer is called Samael, angelic couple, angels and God are a dysfunctional family. Angst. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess, you know what, this is probably translated from Italian by like Google Translate. So there's definitely 
no, like some of this is not translated correctly. Wow, okay, so we're already in a fight. <gasps> wow, okay, so Lucifer just withered some grass and Michael made it grow again. Okay, there's gonna be a war. I don't care about the fate of the world. Mood. I need you by my side. Why did you show up today? Fight by my side again. They're in a park. So, okay, and humans are around. So, wait. Oh my God. Bright purple eyes. Why? Okay. And no questions. Oh, so these are chapter names. So the first chapter is named something else. Then it's together and then it's the fall of lucifer those are the chapter names i'm see look at me figuring out archive of our own nice and these are chapter names by the way and they're also translated into italian and i'm saying the english version cannot find them all right oh michael 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 present yourself before me morning star you talking to lucifer his partner okay so they're already together who is he? Is Michael doing this? Oh, well, wait, why is Michael being referred to as the Morning Star? I want to correct you, explain intention. Okay, so he's talking back to God. Big mood. All right, so this is the, I, I've read everything we can. Nothing spicy, nothing crazy. I love this one. All right, here we go. Some of the tags. Spoiler alert, Jesus dies at the end. Who would guess? This is Jesus Christ and Judas Iscariot. Hate sex, blasphemy, bros, just 13 bros eating together. <laughs> Jesus is trans and gay and a furry. Nice. Alternate universe. Good. Love it. Jesus is Christ's apostles and disciples in commas Christianity. I based it off the actual Bible as best as I could and it is kind of educational, but I'm a shit poster. It's not that deep. Uh, Jesus Christ lives as a gay trans man in a very repressive environment and will meet Judas, the man he'll learn to love only to be betrayed. How can he live, laugh, love in these conditions? Actually, he won't. <laughs> I love this person. If you happen to watch my content, I don't think you do, but like, I love this so far. Absolutely amazing. Oh my God. His ears were the only indicators of his nervousness as they laid flattened to his head. How are his ears flattened to his head? I'm trying to get more context clues. I'm skimming. I want context clues. Well, how is his ears, how are his ears flattened to his head? Oh my God, I know one of you is going to betray me. All of his disciples were stunned and wanted to know who was going to be the traitor. Is it me? Asked Andrew. Is it me? Asked Peter. Maybe it's me? Asked James. Until Judas asked. He then looked forlornly at him and decided they were going to continue eating. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Everyone went on eating, but they couldn't forget what he had said. Jesus went on talking about how the bread is, is, is his body and the wine his blood for all the vor gore enjoyers to jerk off, thinking about him as they laid in their most depraved night and could feel the holiness of Jesus inside of them. But they all felt conflicted inside at the idea that one of them was going to be the betrayer of Jesus and they wouldn't be seeing him anymore. Okay, why are Jesus's ears fluffy? I don't understand. Hold on. I'm really confused. <sighs> okay, question, question, question. If he's a furry, does that mean he's part animal? Is that like canon here? Is everyone part animal? Is it like Zootopia? I'm really confused. I, and I, no hate to furries. I just don't understand like what's going on at this moment. Oh my God, Judas and Jesus are kissing. They are just kissing. Wow, okay, now we're going. Uh, oh, huh, yee, all right, all right, okay, next chapter, <laughs> this is at the beginning, oh my fucking god, Judas, wake the fuck up, I'm so done, you're always asleep, if I left it up to you, you'd sleep for 16 hours straight, you know you have work to do, now go with your father, okay, now we're talking about Jose, I'm so confused, Okay, Jamie, Joseph, Simon, so these are the names of the disciples, but are they all siblings now? If they're siblings, then why are Judas and Jesus fucking? Okay, Josephina, Judas. Okay, so wait, now he's saying maybe it's all a dream? And I don't, there's not another chapter. I don't get to know what's going on. I don't get to know why Jesus has furry ears. I don't understand if 
Oh, Judas is a teen with too many questions and no answers. Okay. Will Jesus be able to give him what he needs? Nice. Okay, we're going to this one. Because this one's the most uh, graphic. So, gee, I'm not even going to read these. Oh my god. What is this? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Ooh, ah, okay. I will share a couple. Um, why did I write this? <laughs> Switch Jesus. Threesome? Okay. Top Judas, bottom Jesus. Waltz. <laughs> this isn't a joke or a crack fix series. It started as a joke, but now look where we are. Me too. And we're already going in. Okay. Oh. This is chapter one. No, there's no foreplay. <laughs> I guess this is foreplay, but like writing wise, we're just, hmm. This is just like, we're in it. Like, <sighs> I'm not reading this out loud. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Mm. Mm. The, knowing the son of Christ was sinning with his best friend, now lover. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of hole. Uh... Breathy giggling. I'm gonna kill myself. How many chapters are there? Ten! There are ten chapters! Are all of them just sex scenes with Judas and Jesus? Like, is this what fan fiction is? I'm so confused. Cause the only time I read fan fiction, it wasn't even like sex. It was just like a romance story between two characters. And now I'm really could. Oh, it's going again! I don't want to look at it. I don't, it's not like, oh, okay. I just don't understand. There's no buildup. We're just fully like going into it. How, what are the chapters named? We got wall sex. It's just called wall sex, no space or anything. And then riding. What's the next one? Threesome, blowjob, et cetera. That's what it says. I, I just want to, I don't understand. I don't understand. Is this like, firstly, I don't care that it's Judas and Jesus, all right? But I just like am confused because this feels like it's just sex scenes. Where's the story? Where's the plot? Where's the romance? And then if it's not here, does fan fiction usually come with it? Or is it usually just this, which is just a sex scene for every chapter? <sighs> I'm having a really rough time. Oh, okay, we're going. <sighs> okay, so now, now we have slut. I don't even think slut was a word in the day. Yeah, daddy kink, what? I don't understand. Okay, now, okay, so now I thought Bought Jesus was the bottom, but now there's um now it's switched. Um, I guess that's switch Jesus. Okay. Like a dog in heat. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to think about that. Oh wow, why is that? Uh, is that something that people say? Dirt. Like if it is, I I want to be clear. I don't care if you do any of this. All right, I don't care. Like all of this. Daddy kink, I don't give a shit. That's great. Have a good time. The fact that it's written down and I have to read it. Okay, we're going back. I just don't think that we should compare while you grind against yourself like a dog in heat. Uh, oh, Peter's here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Please leave St. Peter out of this. I just don't want to deal with it. Oh, God. No, Peter. Peter, no. Why is there a vibrator? Why is there a vi- This isn't historically accurate at all. And that's what's getting to me a bit. Oh, my God. And Peter's 
involved in this. I'm just kind of, I don't, Peter caught them in the act, I guess. Let's go to the next chapter. Chapter index, let's go to four. Okay, there's only five chapters. Okay, teasing and then Lucifer, but spelled wrong. So we got two more chapters left. Um, I'm gonna need a shot after this. Oh, it's loading. Sorry, I gotta wait till my porn loads. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a shot. I'll be right back. Lord <laughs> almighty. Okay, we're back. Now I have coffee um, with alcohol in it because I'm gonna need a small helper, little helper. We're on chapter four. Oh, wow, that's really bad. <sighs> All right, no regrets. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This is the things I do for content. I hate it here. Hi, Benji. Oh, he coming up. He coming up. Go lay down. Here we go. It's a lot of girl sex. <clears throat> Oh, we're whipping. There's whipping involved. Okay. Oh, this is the last chapter. We get to move on to um, a different one. Oh, all, modern setting, alternate universe for this one. So the characters in this one, while I take a break from the really hardcore fanfic relationships, Judas and Jesus, Jesus Christ and disciples, God, Mary, Joseph, Simon, Peter, and John the Baptist. Okay. Wow, this is int intense already. Uh, Lucifer had hold heard all the stories, all the tales. Jesus the whore, who willingly allowed his own follower into his bedroom. Wow, okay, so is this a modern take on this? It doesn't say, but they're in a pub, so it has to be. I <laughs> I've heard some rumors, and Jesus goes, what rumors? And he go, Lucifer goes, ones that say you're a fucking slut and willing to fuck any pretty piece you can. <laughs> oh my God, to take a bite of the forbidden apple. Listen here, Habibi, Habibi? He just called him beloved in Arabic. I get thrown out of heaven for a little sin of lust and here you are, the son of God himself partaking in the same little sin with no repercussions in sight. Test that sinner heart of yours. My God, they walked over to the dresser pulled out a phone, played a certain playlist, because there are phones in this fanfic. Uh, the music began to play Jesus' turn and sensually began to strip. Stripper Jesus! I don't know if I can take this one seriously because there's a little bit more lead up to it. It's longer. Oh, whoa, we went from zero to 100 in this chapter. Wait, and I don't mean sex-wise, I mean emotionally zero to 100, okay. Oh my God. Nothing but a bitch for breeding. Jesus is kinky, apparently. Begging, calling Lucifer a slut again. And then, how are we feeling? Nice, love aftercare. I love you, says Lucifer. And Jesus says, I love you too. 62 people liked this? Oh my god. Is everyone okay? It tastes so bad. All right, now we're going back to Minecraft Jesus. Okay, the 10 commandments and also no apples. The 11th commandment says no apples. <laughs> okay, there's Peter Matthew <laughs> sent a discord message, whispered, can you join VC2 for a second? The Messiah whispered to you one moment. Matthew cuts off the Messiah and says, Jesus, why the f are apples banned in heaven? I added that about a week ago. Okay. Okay, it's a relatively normal stream. It was never intended to be a lore stream. I don't know what any of this means. Adam and his ex-girlfriend Eve were some of the first people to watch Jesus' streams and the only ones that had stayed with him the entire time, always donating money and supporting through streams. They had been dubbed the originals. <laughs> They would sometimes become a part of the server's lore. Adam gave a donation and said, Jesus, Eve tried to kill me. 
Eve wouldn't actually try to put Adam in a death-threatening situation. Judas on VC was oblivious to what happened. Another donation under the name of Eve said, don't listen to him, Jesus. I simply gave him an apple. Adam says it was poisonous. Eve goes, I didn't know that. Adam goes, I could have died. Eve said, you felt sick for less than three hours. And then he goes, I think we need to ban apples from heaven. And heaven, I'm guessing, is the stream area. It's the name of the stream. Jesus gets a donation telling him his boyfriend is committing war crimes. What? Thank you for the donation. Matthew, his username is tax collector LMAO. <laughs> this is actually really good. There's no sex in here, which I love. This is hilarious. Guys help Judas blew up a building. Disciple 101, the Messiah. Is this why they said my boyfriend was committing war crimes? Oh, and they're getting worked up over not the war crimes, but someone calling Judas Jesus' boyfriend. That's hilarious. Jesus is not my boyfriend. His username is Jude Ass. Next chapter. I am enjoying this. Okay, what is GNC? In other news, I go to Catholic school. We have a religion assignment, so I'll be getting more Jesus lore soon. Jesus is scaling the mountain. You can see a player tag. This is Minecraft, I guess, playing the Baptist. So John the Baptist? Yeah, John the Baptist. Thank you for the dono, gender738, your father, G-N-C-A-F. I don't know what that means either. Jesus asked John, what does G-N-C mean? Okay, well, they didn't actually say. Okay, and then there's like really nice formatting with the messages back and forth between Judas and Jesus. It looks really nice. So now hashtag God GNC is trending. What does GNC mean? Oh, gender non-conforming. <laughs> God's gender non-conforming. Well, if that's the case, then you're absolutely right. God is gender non-conforming. And that's it. That's all we got. Um, I'm tired. I'm, I'm not gonna read the Good Omens one. I've had enough for today. Um. Thanks to whoever recommended I do this. I'm a little traumatized. And uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I really do, because I don't, I hope, I, I, yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. I'm gonna go, go to confession. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And <laughs> if you want, you can subscribe, turn the bell on, leave a comment, like, but absolutely no pressure. Remember to drink water and have an amazing rest of your day. Siate Benedetti.